Coffee, this is Speedy Sloth, and we have one more crew battle on the docket for us tonight, and it will be a California battle. We have UCSD and UCB, and um, we're just going to wait for the first match to start. Yeah, um, yeah, a lot of exciting melee we've been seeing tonight, and I think this one is going to be very exciting as well. We have a lot of really great players um, this is the NorCal versus SoCal Classic. Um, these two regions have, you know, a lot of history together. So I'm really excited to see yeah. how these people perform, yeah. how these players perform. Yeah, absolutely. Just wanted to thank um, Julian Pag for the follow. And always, any support to the stream and to Collegiate Melee is very much appreciated. You can donate channel points. You can actually win cash prizes with those too. So, you know, you're just stopping by. You come in, you drop a Twitch Prime. That could just be money that's going right back to you. And thank yeah. you, memes0610. So, with that out of the way, I have a warm up here. We have Marth versus Puff to start out. We have Red Panda Master. And I believe we have the Unable Table. It's a little boring, but I think I'm pretty sure we have it. So. Yeah, so Unable Table is going to be the Puff player. For um, UC Berkeley, and then Ren Panda is for UC San Diego. So yeah, um, starting off, Marth Puff is a I think a pretty interesting matchup, especially um, today. I, I think yeah, yeah. I think like Puff is tends to be sort of this like ace in the hole, where if one team has like a low tier or especially like a floaty like a Peach or a Samus, it can be the ace in the hole. But I think without I think we see like a lot of space sees Marth with these two crews. Not quite as high value, and you're at risk of getting counterpicked later on. So I can understand going with like sort of the uh, the odd one out with Puff to like start out here. And I think yeah. the unable, yeah, he's already showing a lot of like ability, like control the stage and Red Panda Master. He just looks like he wants to stay very still, just work in and out of like one dash dance range, and sort of get the space to go. Yeah, okay. Finds a good damage off that uh, tech chase on the platform, and now has him in the corner. Uh, okay, able to come out with that Nair, and now it's reset to center stage. Just whiffs two F smashes. Oh, oh my god, yeah. he, what was he going for there? I, can't I think that, I mean, that's an F smash, and that's probably, it was a short hop versus full hop sort of tech skill air. Could definitely just short hop rest, like that weak Marth F smash on shield. And, yeah. um,. You know, I think, especially considering it's the first stock of the crew, and maybe if you're unable table, you're just like, you want to just get that going, and it's like not too big of a deal to just lose that stock there. But at the same time, it's like a really big lost opportunity to make like a statement going into the beginning of this crew battle. And I think we're also seeing that Red Panda Master is a bit of like an F smasher. Um, he was definitely <laughs> goes for another one on the platform. And I think sort of as Puff, that's your goal. You want to like find people's obvious habit you want to get them frustrated and get them fishing, and then you just go all the way in. But I think as like the floaty player, this kind of is a, isn't the worst thing in the world. Oh my god, that <laughs> and he taunts too. That stuff was actually so like I can't believe he got that edge guard. He just got him in the corner and then just went out with a uh, two fares, and he got him under the stage with that stage pipe. Yeah, that was such a crazy edge guard. <laughs> oh man, like another advantage. Whereas Marth. He can also often just like dictate the pace when the opponent is coming down. Puff can just jump, Puff can stall you out, Puff can make you just like, I just bored, just want you to just like play the game. And I think <laughs> we've already seen uh, Red Panda Masker like force their hand with the S smashes. And I think if on the unable table just has to catch up, he just has to punish. You can't let them work and you definitely can't just let them go by. Yeah, I uh, totally agree with that. But we have been seeing Panda uh, able to kill with that S smash there, and now, okay, but Table has a chance to have him in the corner now. Okay, reset back to neutral. Uh, has him on platforms, yeah. This has been, like, a lot of neutral battle, I think, so far. A lot of just trying to build oh. percent as fast. And I think there's another S smash, too. Yeah. Coming out there. Oh. Okay. Both players playing so oh, patiently. Oh, you can just tell the way that he's moving. Yeah. And the unable table just has to do his best to like extend past it. Cause he's able to like control his platform space, but it seems like Red Panda Master just sitting there, you know, with like that F smash, like hinting movement, 
And just the unable table just does not know how to like break through and get those big uh, openings and break across center stage and really control what's going on. But he will get that F smash on that movement backwards. That helps, but you gotta close it out. Yeah, and not gonna kill. Okay, I think that backer is gonna do it. Oh! Okay, really great recovery. That side B to barely beat out the early frames of Puff back air. And now Martha is such at a high percent. He just wants to build damage here uh, to maybe get him at percentage to. Yeah, maybe. He can... Yeah, I mean, he's not been going for a lot of grabs, which I think is can be really uh, good in this matchup. Even without, you know, being able to pivot, you can sometimes find uh, options. Oh, he lives? Yeah, this, this is the problem with Puff, is like, you have to be willing to be like ballsy and like challenge them off stage. And I think what kind of happens in Cruz is that people tend to play a little more scared. You know, a little, and I think especially that Miss that a shield that might have hurt the Unable Tables, uh, his mentality. And he just isn't so quite so confident and you just need that confidence to finish. <laughs> no, oh, wow. Puff. Yeah. That, um, that reverse fair was... Again, really good. Uh, when Table has Marth off stage, especially below on Battlefield, you know, he's getting these cool su super quickly, which is netting him like most of the stocks, but now he's still in a really bad position. Going down two stocks here, if it looks like how it's going to be, if he can fish for some sort of up tilt or S smash, would be a really not great way to start it off for UC Berkeley. Okay, see, Crouch is that, but. That's the hard part is as Puff, you just he just was not able to find that like short range option. He just was unable to contest any of the Red Panda Masters, his fares, his nares, and even the S match. He just was not able to contest those consistently enough. And that's how Red Panda Master will get that two stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is um honestly just I think a lot of it was Panda playing super patiently, not trying to overextend, and being able to being able to control space really well. Playing a super neutral game, not letting Puff uh, bully him into the corner too much, and honestly, some really great recoveries as well. Yeah, he was definitely taking advantage of all the space that the Unable Table was giving him, especially on those recoveries. He made a few side B hits, was able to make a few crucial ledge grab, and that will just extend your stock, and that's just a nightmare to deal with at that point. So you have to think going in for the UCB crew. Um, I think you're looking. You have a Sheik, a Fox, a Martha, and a Falcon. And I think the Sheik and the Falcon are the most tempting picks here. Mm -hmm. I kind of the Sheik a little bit more. You know that they have a Puff coming up, and that might be threatening, but at the same time, I feel like the way that Red Panda Master was playing, he looks like a very hitbox-centered sort of Marth, and that's kind of tends to be the play style that might work a little bit better against Falcon. Yeah, um, and I think also when you send in that Sheik, um, the other players you have are uh, some Spacies and a Puff, so I feel like you're getting necessarily counterpick no matter when you send the Sheik in, so I think it's better to just try and even it up as uh, soon as possible and just take the uh, counterpick de deficit, because best case scenario, you get the matchup versus the Falco, which I don't think you want to take a chance and uh, wait for the, I guess, that sort of counterpick, because it, but either way, I, I would personally send in the Sheik but we'll see. Thank you all guys for the follow, by the way. Uh, shout out to oh, Android absolutely. Zero. Yeah. All you guys. Um, Echo and Kato. So Ooh, it looks okay. like the Falcon. Definitely one of the ones that we thought they might go with. Um, and sort of what you want to see here is you want to see some like very explosive openings from low percent. You want to see those up throw, up air, up airs, big scary edge guards. Quick confirms into knee off of that. Mm -hmm. um, but at time if you just run into like a few auto cancel nares a few misplaced down tilts and you can end your stock just as quickly from Mars end yeah this is um another matchup which honestly like so many are so explosive which i think in a crew battle where i think compared to other 
uh, sort of matchups, having those more explosive ones can be really interesting because being able to lose a stock like so quickly and almost out of nowhere can present itself and especially in cases with this where you're down two stocks it's super possible that the marth can just take these four stock clean and it's super possible that the falcon can just get those grab confirms and just clean it up really quickly um i'm not sure what stage we're going to but we are going to be starting soon I imagine we might see a uh, like an F something wide. You don't definitely don't want to go to like a Yoshi's or a Fauna. Yeah, versus this kind of player. So we have Pokemon. Oh, saying thank you so much to our followers, J Dog, Eam, RZ two three four five. Um, and now we're gonna get into it. Two stocks. So we'll see. Yeah. So you see early, right? This is sort of Mark's central problem is that the moves that he Mark will win neutral with often aren't necessarily like his ideal combo. So we'll see that like he can get tilt, he can get like a quick grab, but he has to follow up with a tech chase, sort of a uh, some sort of correct option to get the follow up on how Falcon needs to escape after that hit. Yeah, you see, you'll see. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, almost has him on the uh, platform there, able to escape, but now, yeah, hmm. both these guys, yeah, both these guys trading uh, damage rail right here, but now. Hannah has the juggle. Uh, really good percent on Falcon here. A lot of confirms can kill him, even on Pokemon. Okay, gets him in the edge. Good down tilt. Oh, okay, gets him with that F smash. Wasn't even a tipper, is... but at that percent, that's gonna kill. Uh oh, stop me. Sick. And I think that's kind of. You're almost okay with this if uh, Klebs can like finish out this stock. You kind of knew that Red Panda Master was a very strong player. And you just gotta be, you know. You just gotta think, like, I still have the tools, I still have the tools to, like, pull ahead next stop. But we have the down throw here. Oh, no, you... Oh, oh man. Channel. Yeah, that was super great by Panda Master. Really being able to extend these stocks to their maximum amount of value. Taking out two already without losing one of his own. And now San Diego is off to an amazing start! And, oh, okay, soft down air, but still has an edge guard. Oh my god, is this gonna be a stock? Oh, he thought he was living? Uh oh, you have to be past you're on center stage now, but so tenuous at that high percent. He just got him all around the stage, dude. That was so crazy from Panda Master. He's playing so well. He's, you can tell he is super well versed in this matchup. His punishes are going so far right now. Okay, but Clef's okay. able to even it up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a clutch oh. CC. Yeah. That, but here's oh, no. the down throw again. He just jumps in, he does the line. Falcon, you know, respect me. He just jumps in with that Nair. And now he has Red Panda Master shielding. He hasn't been stuck in the corner, but he just respects him too much. He does not want to commit to anything that could get him or grab, but it comes anyway. Yeah. Oh, man. This oh. is a. Uh... Uh oh. oh. Easy. Wow. That was huge. Oh. I think man. Red Panda Master, he may have just cracked this whole crew battle wide open. I mean, they just, without the Falcon, and I mean, just five stocks up, you have so yeah. much in your stages and your character picks now. Yeah. I mean, and also, also, not even. You have to look at the the players they have also. It, it's not even like this is, you would say, their major hitter. Red Panda is obviously an amazing player, but having East Coast Jeff and Khalid in your lineup and being able to clean up this many stocks so early with someone that wouldn't even be called your ringer is absolutely yeah. crazy. I so, think he, is just, he has shown up, and this is just a runaway train for UCB. You need now, you need somebody to clean this up and then steal like momentum back on a counter pick twice. And I think this has really just become a tall order. And I think Red Panda Masters did a wonderful job. He had great recoveries. You know, he took what the opponents were giving him. You know, he gave him the gimps when he got him. He was just able to combo. These had good, good DI. He just had full follow ups. And that's how he got up five stocks all by himself. Yeah. I mean, just. Really phenomenal play, and I think 
likely they're going to send in the Sheik. Oh, they're sending in the Marth? Okay. Um, I guess... I think Puff is just so scary as like a as a blowback to Sheik. That's maybe the guess. Because you have to start thinking about the long game, right? You're going to need to... You're going to need to like... Okay. So... Th Going, I feel like the long game doesn't matter. You're five stocks down. You need to get Red Panda Master out of here as soon as possible. Either way, as you're getting Sheik, if you either way right now, you don't have the character advantage to be able to put in a Sheik and have it not get counterpicked. Because either way, you're likely going to fight a Puff or a Fox, which I think is both bad counterpicks for Sheik. So I don't know if the Sheik doesn't feel confident in this matchup or if they're trying to save him as the anchor, but I'm not exactly sure um, what their, I, I don't know what their game plan is, but Depp needs to do some more. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, this is a, oh geez. Yeah, this is a very strong start for San Diego. And if you're a UC Berkeley fan, you are feeling not great, <laughs> to say the least. Um, Marth matchup, up, Marth Tito, I'm not too well versed. I think sort of like the lowest, like the lowest paradigm is the, can you escape from F smash spam on landing and recovery? And I think for, once you prove that, you know, which isn't always the case, because Kerr, you know, Cruz can have this nerve factor. But once you break free of that, it becomes a lot of like high percent, uh-oh, do that F throw there. One yeah. mistake there, you can get over. Yeah, so he's just going to go for the up throw here. He respects uh, Red Panda Master. They're both going to just take these full extended combos. And then it becomes like a game of who is proper edge guarding. And who has oh. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah, no, he's still living, but at this high percent, a lot of moves can send off stage. Okay. Oh, that's F Smash. Oh, man. Oh, he Big looked for the... Yeah, that was really great, the eye. He does it right back to him with that uh, out of the corner. Yeah. They're both test and see who's going to commit first to, like, escape. Yeah, both these players are just trading, getting each other off the ledge, not able to find any solid confirms, and oh, do that Okay! Oh, yeah, oh, oh, just nothing. He just he lets makes him go it on. They're just respecting each other to, like, I, I can't tell if it's respect or if they're just trying to play so safe. I mean... Bear doesn't... No. But yeah, he did such a good job getting out of that up tilt. He has him now again, but... Oh my god. They're... Why can't he go for get-up attack gotta... there? Oh! Oh, and he gets him. That was yeah. such, like... I could feel, like, the potential for that to just get spiral out of control there, but Depp holds it together. You know, if you lose that stock, you're at risk of getting, like, Gint again or something, because it's the Marth Ditto, but you hold it together, you're at this point, you're down a player, you just gotta go with it. Yeah, I... Yeah, that was really close, but being able to uh, minimize the damage that Panda was able to do and get out of there clean is pretty important. But still, oh, Panda taking... Eight stocks. Really, also, thank you. really great, great start. Thank you so much to our new followers. Sorry, we haven't been keeping up. Um, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce that. Austin McGinty. <laughs> off of, I don't know if that's like some sort of <laughs> Tamula. Uh, thank you so much for, for following Intercollegiate Slippy League. And. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So they're sending in... This is, uh, this is why they maybe didn't go with the Sheik. They just thought that Sheik Puff, it would just be worse and worse. And there is no... Important, especially for this kind of matchup, where there's only really like one hard counter pick. So you take away Dreamland, you have Marth Puff, you just, you just find those tippers and find those big up tilt those early kills. Yeah. Um, and we saw the matchup here, um, reverse in terms of which characters the schools were putting out. So we'll see if, uh, I know Khalid is an, like an amazing player, um, super well versed. I know he has, if he's not top a hundred, he has a bunch of top a hundred wins. Um, so I mean, 
kind of the interesting thing of the Slippy era is there's a lot of people who sort of just rose to prominence because they kept playing and kept playing a lot. Colleen is one of those who could just on any given tournament just challenge like that group of top players who always enters everything, like the BBBs, the Bens, those kind of people. Khalid is one of those people who's like on that level. And you know, even though the rankings don't really reflect it because nobody can figure out all the info, he's definitely somebody who always is like a threat at any given tournament. Yeah. There there are a, uh, a lot of players like that. Because I feel like in the Slippy era, all of the uh, hidden bosses, you could say, are able to come out in full force and uh, show out at Do tournaments we where fight? everyone can enter. Yeah. So it looks like they did it. They got right into it. Oh, very important already. Uh, Dep manages to shield that up tilt, so he will not be getting rested right off the bat. Yeah, so I think Fountain is an interesting stage. I think sort of the immediate platform heights let Puff contest a lot more of the ground room, whereas we saw um, the Unable Table was struggling on Battlefield to sort of like get down there and challenge more to dash. Oh, oh that's not what you want to miss. Okay, yeah. Misses that tipper, which is really unfortunate. I'm not sure if... I mean, Fountain is pretty small. I'm not sure if that would have killed, but still, that's... Just a bitch if that's you not miss not it by a hair. I mean... Yeah, and we can see right there, that's a example. Clea is able to shield, and then he can shield drop down instantly right to the ground, and that makes punishing a lot of these mark moves much easier than it would be on a bigger stage. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was a really great rollout recovery. Um, but back into it. Uh, Khalid, dude, Puff is so able to come back to stage. Just like there's so many mix-ups that you can do. Able to ah. get back to stage, but kills with the F smash there. But right, there's the grab. Oh, and he gets out of that. See, I feel like certain Puff <laughs> players you'd be scared. Nice grab. Yeah. Okay. I'm on stage. Oh, that, oh, and he gets the big grab. This could yeah. be huge. He goes up with double two fair. Fairs, two fair. Okay, that works. Now one more grab, and this is like scary percent. I know. This is. Oh, finds F smash. Okay, he's making it back. F is. He can control the center, and it looks like Kali has been fighting from the outside a little bit more than maybe the first stop. Right back here. A rest. Doesn't go for rest. Yeah, because if he risks, he doesn't want the trade. He wants to take this stock clean. Oh, and he gets it there. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, back to center. Find the up tilt. Doesn't kill you yet. He counters? Oh. Why? <laughs> what is happening? Dude, this is like a close game. This might be the most crucial game of the battle so far, but it's already like spaghetti. This is their <laughs> point like his last game. <laughs> he just he just pressed down B in the middle of the oh. stage like he was playing Fox, bro. <laughs> That's the second time a puff in the Marth matchup in this crew battle, someone has just loved a rest. And... Oh, he wanted that pivot tipper. Uh-oh, yeah. jab. Intentional jab. This could have been huge. All right, yeah. head off. And now, honestly, for Khalid, this is... Depp is looking really strong right now. I think a lot of people would expect Khalid to do, I mean, much better. This matchup, I think, Marth does win, yeah. but now Depp is up a stock against a very, very good player. This is a upset, or potentially. Right. Oh, no, see, I think Khalid is, he just psyched himself out. He just thinks that rest is just not the way to go for these edge guards, but he has just not been able to get kills any other way. Yeah, he I mean... Still up? Tough. Dare it's up smash? Tough. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, and now rest That's is tough. back on the table. So, are we going to see Clutch Box come out? That is... I feel that... like the grab is both what you want and the way you... Oh, oh, gets up till... Okay, fair. Yeah, so now... No, he, he keeps falling for it, but it's... He... Oh my god, there's so much spaghetti! One more ledge F smash. Oh no, he, he just the, He just the snap back, back throw. Oh no. Dude, I don't have more spaghetti right now. This is just coming down. This is just... Why would you F smash there? <laughs> okay. Ah! Now, what F smash, the dare. 
One more dare. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Grab. Okay. Grab again. One, next, next grab. It becomes scary. Then I he's know. Gonna re Dude, again. it's been scary for two minutes. Oh no! No. no. Oh. oh man. God, that hurts. That could have been like, like a pivotal like comeback moment. Like if you're Depp and you beat their just best player straight up, that could have been huge. But instead, no dice. Oh man, that's oh that's a that's actually so sad, dude. Just getting like clutch boxed yeah. on like that, I guess, was just damn. I mean, he just he just like he saw that he was getting refreshed. He wanted to do like a side B and then also drift back so he could just land back on the ledge again once Khalid had to refresh, and then he just like did both at the same time and he just like knew Khalid <laughs> and helped. So I think it's like. It's a tough pill to swallow, and I yeah. think it's just like Khalid, he forced that one little adaptation, and in the heat of the moment, any mistake can happen. Yeah, and I so. think, yeah, it is, it's definitely the, the difference. That, that stock was really important because it is the difference of, like, being – it's the difference between coming in and then you're less than a full player behind and, like, I guess – a difference between being a full player behind, if you know what I'm get like getting at, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're not down. You're only down by three stocks instead of five, so it's like a two stock swing SD. Yeah, but I mean, at this point, you're just back at square one for UCB. You now have two more players, and they aren't going to have to do what Depp got very close to doing, mm -hmm. but they follow through. Yeah. So, how would you I feel if I donated a hundred? I would feel pretty good if you donated a hundred subs. Just, you know, from a personal standpoint. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see if he if he does go through with that. I think you I said I think you hmm, do you, I think you send in the Fox here. I mean, you kind of have to like there's not other option since the Marth is gone. Like. It's just like. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like if they sent in the Sheik would be like. Kind of not yeah, the best I option. Like, yeah. I think like there's also the sense of being the anchor that sometimes mm -hmm. fastballers and anchors is like a little sketch. Like, mm -hmm. you know you don't you, like you just wanna like remove the power of flubs and just want to keep Oh, so they do send in the Sheik. Huh. I suppose on the counter pick, right? Since you get to counter pick Khalid, that might make things easier. So, uh, I, I guess, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not, yeah. I mean, if they think like snap is like the big anchor, I guess, but I'm not, I don't know, because just, at some level, you just got to put your cards on the table. And, you know, the order at this point is just so small. Or like there's it's just one decision and you just gotta say whoever we think trust to go with it, you gotta go with it. And maybe not just trying to overthink the character aspect at this point. Yeah, I I, I guess. No, I, I can understand that, but uh, do you know what stage they're gonna play on? I imagine Yoshi's um, doing that. Okay, they're going battlefield, yeah. which yeah, definitely yeah. Um, pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard. Say. Sheik's definitely like Battlefield a lot, and uh, you get to have you get to have those kind of what is it? It's for the puff. Uh, I think I can't even pursue my thoughts. This matchup is so bad. I'm trying to look for good things to say about Battlefield, but it's well, like I think <laughs> I think like for sort of puff, right? So I think what we saw as micro situation in um, in Deb versus Khalid is that Khalid definitely knows how good grab is, for, how good Crouch is to stop grab, and Deb was just able to do like the proper non JC grab. You can charge there. Um, I think what we have to see now is that Khalid's definitely going to be crouching again, and I think Nuggets. I think Battlefield definitely is the kind of stage that'll let you set up needles, and set up fair, and punish them, but. You just, you just, you cannot get 
two antsy and then throw out a grab looking for like that quick running up air kill and then just die from it because you really need to hold on to every stop from here on out especially yeah. one like this like the percent you build up doesn't come back to bite you next time yeah i think it's oh, really oh, actually yeah no he's, he's building up damage uh, and controlling space really well right now oh go oh, and he texts the up air too that was crucial oh. Oh, Press but this up. could be stop no. the epic Mr. Chain. Fudge God? No. Yeah, the... no. Oh, the flat. what's he going and for? And he doesn't grab. He doesn't grab, so he at least doesn't. Oh. Yeah. F smash. But... F smash. Mm. And yeah. Now we're getting into. Why did you kind of pick this character? <laughs> oh man, and he's already like uh -oh. getting so much damage. This could yeah, be it looked like... a sock. Oh, okay. Oh, reverse fair. Finds a reverse so. fair. But Khalid, so. yeah, that sock was... Oh, man. Yeah, Khalid being able to take a stock is also really important to... Yeah. allow the lead to be as big as it is now. So... Yeah. yeah. Coming in for nuggets, you just gotta hope that... Um, you know, your next match them one at a time. I mean, there's no Marth, there's no Puff, so it's all it's going to be fast followers from here on out. Mm -hmm. I imagine like, the Fox or some other character, you're just going to have to show up, you're going to have to hit your punishes. Um, there's not really too much else you can hope for. This is just the, the way it is. You can't, you know, be thinking about how else the crew could have gone, who else you could have sent in. You just got to play forward, and if you trust your mentality, the other guy was just going to break before. You just got to... Hmm. Okay, Here so, comes the, uh, the big name. So. Yeah, we're not going to see is because Jeff, uh, legendary Fox player, um, like, just like super good, just like really great Fox. I mean, this matchup, I think, is doable, but definitely not great for Sheik. Um, it depends I think it's what very kind much... of... Yeah, I think, like... You know, the stages are always going to be bad. You get to, um, you get to like, dodge one or the other now because there's a ban, but so it won't be a great stage. Mm -hmm. You just have to get your punishes down, and if you can just get, like, just 25 or 30, that could do so much as opposed to, like, nothing off of these grabs, so. Yeah, and I but think... definitely showed... No, I'm sorry, yeah, you can go. No, 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 you're good. Um, I think it also depends on, like, what kind of uh, NorCal chic. Because I think you have, like, in NorCal, you have, like, the shrooms and you the shroom type of chic, and you have, like, the face roll type of the more, like, aggressive and uh, kind of improvisational, I guess you could say. And then the... Uh, more reaction tech chase, more punish base, I guess, type of Sheik. So it depends, like, what kind uh, Nuggets is. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think we got a real uh, idea based on how he played the Puff, but it's going to be... Yeah, it's a very different matchup. Yeah, it's going to be important to see how we... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's important to see. We'll see. Okay, so gone Pokemon, which is like I said this earlier. It's like FD Junior. So it's like every reason that people like uh, FD, people like Pokemon. So if Fox likes FD versus Sheik, then they like Pokemon pretty much. Now, now it's frozen. It's like FD Junior. So I think that's like the most basic way of interpreting it. But yeah. a little bit of difference, um, especially like the low ceiling. The that height makes a big difference. Um, obviously, Fox will love to go Pokemon, even versus characters who can chain grab them, just because the platform can save that. Um, first, oh, okay. For a tech chase, he, go, he goes for a regrab. He's not just like an up smasher, or just like a reader, but he mm -hmm. does miss. And, um, okay, down smash hits and doesn't get punished. That's actually like a very big like opening to get. So now at like 45, this is when like run up F tilt becomes more of an option. But it looks like East Coast Jazz is taking yeah. stock. Yeah, um, good to clean out that stock uh, early from Jeff, getting him on the uh, ledge. And while Sheik's going to be really dangerous on the ledge, uh, oh, oh my god, what a great shine of a uh, chain of wave shines. And still, yeah, 
able to put up a lot of damage oh, yeah. on Protect and Shock. So we saw there was actually like one of Sheik's like secret weaknesses about this stage is that um if she does a normal full hop and she isn't like think, like it happened right again there she will just no impact land. So when you often see Sheik player tries to just like space fair, and they end up just like jumping onto the platform and then like F smashing. And it's already happened twice where uh, Nuggets has tried to just like jump and just like throw out a fair throw out a spacing move, and uh, the game just says no, and he does not tech that. So East Coast Jeff is definitely looking to be in the driver's seat in this match. And of your Nuggets, like, you haven't shown too much, like, explosive potential in either the Khalid game or so far here. But you need to find, like, a Gimp. You need to find, like, maybe a big tech chase. You just need something to, like, threaten and put your team back on the board. Yeah, See, I think you have, to, yeah, you have to go for some reads here. Um, I think he might want to try... Oh! Okay. Oh, wait, that Aaron air stock might actually... Yeah, uh, this could be a little bit of life here. Finds oh, a grab. Um, oh, he reads F Smash. So yeah, he reads. He's uh, a reader. Or a reader. Yeah, he was probably reading for uh, uh, Wake Up Shine. Oh, uh, that's the last okay. thing he did. Let's see if he goes. Oh, he goes for regrab. Yeah, he's just been looking for uh, Jeff Teching in place, but so that's able he's to. Like kind of yeah, not very sort of less mobile. We saw him like very active around the lab. Versus Khalid. Mm. Oh, he's getting he's getting up in these like tight micro situations that can work for some time, but against a character like Oh, oh yeah, so he did forget to SD. <laughs> well, I didn't even. More showing. Yeah, given the uh, the. But no, he SD because. He had three stocks coming into it, chat. He just forgot to SD the uh, first stock. That 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 was that was the thing that come in. So anyway, yeah. We have the four stocks with snap, um, two from East Coast Jeff, and then eight more after. So I think if you're snap, you have a bit of a tall order ahead of you. Nuggets was able to at least do decent, considering that it was a counter pick, but. At that point in time, you really just had to hope for like very strong performances from everybody going forward. Yeah, I mean, so. I think right now you may just be trying to uh, even it up as close as you can. Uh, a win here might be at least slightly out of the cards in some scenarios. I mean, it's not, it's possible, but. Well, I think you just have to really almost every winning scenario starts with snap taking just two stocks here straight up. Yeah. And then you just gotta work at it just one bit at a time. You can't think about everything that's going ahead of you, even though we obviously can talk about it, because as soon as you just like see the enormity of the task, you're just gonna give it up. And then you're just gonna get like behind it. And you just have to as snap know that if you have the potential, you can do it, and that's all you need to know is you just go. Yeah. Uh, being able to, I guess, believe in yourself, I guess, as you say, as, like, bad, uh, you know, as kind of cheesy as it sounds. Having confidence in your play at this position, you know, not getting too dejected is, uh, and, you know, having that mental game is important in this scenario for Snap. So... so I think... Um, what stages they're going to? I'm not sure. Uh, hand warmers. Okay, FD band. Probably uh, yeah. Jeff wanting to avoid the chain grab. Uh, Definitely because he knows that if you're the team winning, you want to like reduce the volatility. You don't want to like mm -hmm. give off possibility that Snap just goes god mode and gets two quick chain grabs. It makes a lot okay. of sense. And then that also makes sense, is that you just want that small stage. You want high chances of shines, lots of quick kills. And that's just going to be your best way to go forward. Yeah, I mean... Um, Alley Moose, and also Chicken Nugget, one, two, three, four. No, oh my god, there's no three in your name. That's, I just got baited. And uh, my <laughs> joke for following. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get right into it. This is the last four stocks uh, for usually Berkeley. So this could potentially 
be the last game of the crew battle of the last game of the night but we will have to see if east coast jeff can close it out so already seeing here that running shine is what east Je east coast jeff wants to go for that's like pretty classic box opening definitely looks to be very more like full hop oriented he took to the platforms the first time versus snaps lasers and i think we're kind of just seeing here is like a very like trade for philosophy from East Coast Jeff. He knows that he has the lead. He knows just like any little bit is already gonna like do a huge amount to help seal this one off. But yeah, but gently. Oh! oh my God! He read him going high. That was such a good edge guard. But Jeff able to come back and now mounting some damage. Okay, right, that comes in with Nair. Yeah, you can just yeah. It's so hard. You got to cover it. Oh, and he goes low. Oh my God! What the I think that must have been some like weird SDI, and I mean probably the the slant on Yoshi's helps make that more possible. Is yeah, that was. There? Uh oh, wait a minute. This is this oh, is oh, again. Combo. Yeah, if he find again, he could find these two stocks. Um, just really quickly. Oh, it's fourth throne. Oh, wow, the shield grab. That is not. Oh my god! Right. Look at this combo. Oh, he beats him taking in place. And now Snap is up in percent. Oh, East Coast Jeff to full hopping non. -hop. He just he got nervous, and when foxes get nervous, they're just gonna jump repeatedly and hope you just jump into all of their moves. And Snap knew that he stayed mobile, he stayed confident, and he was able to just close that out. And that's like the first step for um, any sort of UCB comeback. Yeah, uh, that was honestly. A really uh okay um that was still a really crazy stock from snap um i'm not sure if they're sending okay so they're sending in jeff not like east coast jeff but j-e-p-h which is a different jeff um which is another no. fox main so more ditto um i mean i feel like it might help out for um ucsd they maybe got a little bit of scouting maybe they know how snap is going to respond to some of these sort of common options mm -hmm. um oh so that's interesting so snap is like i feel like i'm just the better player here and i'm not gonna let that chain grab be on the table he's gonna go to fountain which again is also like another interesting pick a little more scrappy a little less clean on the taxi with the rotating platform, so. Yeah, um, and I think Jeff shown that, or Snap shown that he is really, looks really good in this matchup. Uh, East Coast Jeff is not a player, you know, is not someone to sniff at. Really, really, has been playing in the scene for a long time, and honestly, like, T taking down those two stocks is really important, is like a really big statement from, uh, from Jeff, uh, from Snap, uh, uh, excuse me. So we're going to see if, you know, this will be a very big comeback. I'm not sure if this is in the realm of possibility or not, but with two spacey matchups, it can be just so volatile so quickly. Oh, yes, important. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, okay. Jeff starting off hot. Already has him in an edge guard scenario. Gets him going high with back air. Oh, he actually oh. put him on the ledge, but he just didn't go there fast enough. And now he'll snap has a grab. Oh. All right, tech chase up smash. Easy. Nice. All right, that's. And Jeff uh, starting okay. quickly. So it looks like Snap, he just took a second, just like wave dash back a bit, just regain composure because Jeff just came out roaring out the gates with that combo. Shine yeah. up smash too. Can't really be punished in the shield unless you're quick. Easy nice. back air. Nice edge guard going out. out. Yeah. Uh -oh, um, Snap went big drill. Shine out. He tried to catch him with a nair, but he short up instead of full up. Okay. 
Going with Nares on his own. Has him in the corner. Oh, but he gets shine! No! Oh, accidental forward air! And that is heartbreaking for Snap. I, he was trying so much momentum going into this game. And, yeah, I mean, still has a big percentage, but. And if he can find this kill, I mean, he can definitely bring it back. Okay, get some off stage. Oh, really great shorten. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So Snap, you just gotta believe that you're playing solid right now. You just ignore that. Ignore anything last game or anything of any sort. And here he goes with the up throw up smash. Ooh, very, very close. But I think that might have been like a frame one uh, miss because that's kind of what happened with the light shield. Yeah. Up throw. A bear. Oh, oh my this god, three bears. Oh jeez. Okay. Everyone's just taking complete control back to right now. Let's... Yeah, this this has gone this side back and forth. Back for forth. Okay. That bears worked two times now for Snap. And roll. Okay, back to center stage. Get some dash attack up smash. Oh, and he taunts on him. Wow. Jeff saying, you think you're hot? You think you're hot? Nah, man. Oh, nah, man. He's disrespecting on this him. Is oh, God, this is Jack twice. This is thing. Oh, yes, man. man. Okay. 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 Gets him with a dash attack up smash like of his that. own. I like that. Responding it doesn't matter that the they have a player. I just show him what's good. Oh, man. Oh jeez, are we gonna see hey, Packer, some? Packer? This yeah, I... is oh oh he charges down smash. Okay, fourth throw. Oh no, that was not good. Oh, DI I'm that that going to ledge. Oh. SDI maybe. Oh, I don't know. I think it might have been a miss, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna shine. Okay. Alright, back to center stage. Oh, has oh, him on stage. Like shield grab. That was easy. Uh oh, jab grab. Back there. And that's, gonna be that's it. Yeah. Uh, um, I feel like Jeff was just able to have just big explosive moments where you get like 60 plus percent. And um, Snap was playing solid neutral, but it was just not enough to match up. And Jeff will just close out the game and the crew battle. Yeah. I mean, just. Really great performances by everyone. Uh, well, you know, San Diego played really well, um, especially their opener. Red Panda put in a huge amount of work getting in those eight stocks. And I think it's possible if he had not played so solidly that University uh, UC Berkeley may have came back because they had a lot of momentum on the uh, back of Snap, able to come back. And honestly... For as amount as heavy hitters as San as UC San Diego has, Berkeley played really, really well and is yeah. not a team to ignore. Yeah, I mean, after they went down like five stocks right away, even though they were like down stages and like had to scramble and like, they couldn't really have as much flexibility on their roster, they were still able to hold it even all the way through. So I think MVP definitely has to go to Red Panda Master for that one. And I mean, there was just like a few tight moments too, like um, Depp, when he could have possibly beat Khalid. That was a big turning point, and they're just like clear that Berkeley still the potential to win that. So San Diego just came out of the gate strong and held it down all the way through. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. 